Only on five this morning, a group of Southern Oregonians is drawing attention from around the world. Some say their presence is a blessing and a promise for the future. And this morning, we reveal an exclusive look at what has been one of our region's best kept secrets. A pasture in the Applegate Valley is quickly becoming sacred ground because of the arrival of its latest residents. Buffalo! Meet what some are calling the largest herd of white buffalo in the world, considered beacons for believers for their potential to bring peace and hope. It signifies a revitalization of Native American tradition and culture. To many of the tribes of North America, the, any animal that is of a white color, all white, is considered to be sacred because they're very rare. Just how rare? One in 10 million, according to the National Bison Association, you'd likely have a better chance of winning the Oregon Powerball. You can't help but fall in love with buffalo if you see their calves. Their calves are absolutely adorable. Honored as a sacred symbol by the Lakota Sioux and Plains Indian tribes, a reincarnation of the white buffalo calf woman, an ancient prophecy fulfilled. But she also said that she would return, and when she returned, that it would be a sign of a time of change. It would bring that impetus, they would bring that encouragement to Native people, but also to all peoples. In Lakota lore, white buffalo calf woman was sent to teach people how to communicate and pray, and her return is a symbol of harmony and renewal to come. For the buffalo to be coming back, and to be coming back with this promise of peace and a return to plenty, is a very, very good thing. That transcends all cultures. People are very excited that the buffalo are here. They feel like there's a, a reason that they're here. A healing is happening in Southern Oregon. Author Fred Jennings Rogers owns Aquarius Books and Gifts in Grants Pass. He says in today's world of unemployment, foreclosure, war and confusion, Many of his customers are simply searching for signs of peace and enlightenment. Several of our customers have gone and seen the white buffalo firsthand, and it's almost transforming. Their life changes. They're touched on very deep levels. Customers like Al Wilson, a Vietnam veteran on a spiritual journey. His final destination, the white buffalo. It has that um, a feeling uh, that the movement of world peace is upon us. The legend says that the white buffalo will appear at a time of suffering and turmoil and will bring about change and hope. And that's something that people in these parts say couldn't come at a better time. I feel honored by being by you to return to the land of the people with your medicine. Oh, grandfather, watch over them, we pray. World-renowned spiritual leader, grandmother Agnes Baker Pilgrim, blesses the herd on the land of her people, the Silots and Tequilma Indians. They have them here in your, in your land. In my land, yes, they have them here, and that's why I wanted to be here to bless them today, that they continue to thrive, to be able today to visit and see them and touch them and feed them. Amazing. It's overwhelming. For them to be here, I think they brought the, a message. You know, the Creator didn't send them have them come idly. Less than 200 years ago, giant herds of mighty buffalo roamed the nation's lands, tens of millions of them. The, the buffalo was, was the livelihood whenever they roamed this land because they provided the, their, their beautiful coat, gave the uh, warmth of the teepee. And so every part was used. It wasn't wasted. But with the nation at war, government policy, and uncontrolled hunting, these lords of the prairie vanished. A sorrowful history for many. Buffalo! Centuries later, a homecoming with special significance. We don't believe in coincidence, uh, so there must be some reason that they were sent. And to see them on the landscape again is just precious. Native tribes heartened and hopeful because of the valley's newest neighbors. 14 buffalo, 11 of which are white. An ancient prophecy fulfilled. Native American cultures honor the buffalo as a sacred bringer of life, and many also believe that the white buffalo will bring people together of all backgrounds to bring about communication, education, and healing. Here you go, sweetheart. Dina Riley never knew these little calves would mean so much to so many people. When they're with these animals, everyone has a different experience. People would cry. I've had a lot of people who uh, have been terminally ill. After he saw them, he says, I can die now. I've seen the white buffalo. Visitors have come.
from Australia, England, Japan, and all parts of our region to pray, marvel, and feel their energy. This mommy Dina's pride and joy right here, yes. Riley is the sole caretaker of the herd, but to these guys, she's mama. Much proud of you. <laughs> her journey began in Oregon 19 years ago. She married her sweetheart, Jim, in Junction City, Oregon. They continued their journey in the plains, raised miniature horses and llamas. Jim's allergies and Dina's curiosity prompted the two to branch out. We had 66 acres and I needed a lawnmower. As their affection for these gentle giants grew, so did their love for each other. We prayed for something to be put into our life, that we could be together 24-7. And that prayer was answered in 1997. This one here is Miracle Moon. The first of 11 white buffalo, considered sacred because they're so rare. From Wyoming, they moved to the Southwest, and the herd grew. We found our soulmates in each other the second time around. We do have kids from other spouses. These are our kids together. Thousands came to see them, few left unaffected. That's the joy, that is the reward. But that joy suddenly turned to sorrow. Last year, Jim suffered a massive fatal stroke. In 10 minutes, my life changed completely. Leaving this doting wife, now a single mother, to care for this improbable family of 14. When you pray for something and you're given something, you don't take it lightly. You go the extra mile it takes. And after he passed, Oregon is what called me. And so I followed my heart. It's a season of healing and renewal for Dina Riley. Last November, the recently widowed rancher was in northern Arizona mourning the sudden death of her husband, Jim, the love of her life. In 10 minutes, my life changed completely. Left to care for an entire herd of white buffalo alone, what some believe to be a sacred gift, now a tremendous burden. She was at a crossroads. When you pray for something and you're given something, you don't take it lightly. You go the extra mile it takes. And she did by taking the road less traveled. A familiar one, I-5, the one she took some 20 years ago when she married Jim in Junction City, Oregon. And my heart is here in Oregon where we started our life as one. Riley packed up her babies and moved from the Grand Canyon to the Great Northwest. That's a great job to move all of these big fellas. To set them up and to take care of them and feed them and water them, that's a huge job. It's not a, uh, a thing that just happened. You know, I think spirit came before them. It's a great belief all over Indian country to have the white buffalo to honor the land and be back and thriving. Having them here is a wonderful blessing. And an overwhelming responsibility. Upkeep and fundraising are a struggle. Riley handcrafts, keychains, and ornaments for sale, anything to help feed the buffalo. Generous hearts in the community have reached out, donating bales of hay. Currently, the herd is grazing on temporary donated land in the Applegate Valley, thanks to an established 501c3 to protect the buffalo. They're not to be kept in a quiet place and never be shared. They're here for everyone. I just want a safe place that they can call home for the rest of their life. What is your hope well, for this herd? Well, I pray that today that that will go before them, that wherever they need to be taken, or if they need to be taken from here, that the Creator would set up that land and go before them to, so that they would have that right to roam and that peace. Local scholars and tribes have embraced the white buffalo prophecy and its message. Bringing this blessing and this promise back to us, fulfilling an ancient promise uh, and prophecy, uh, because it was a promise. She said, I will return, and she did. My hope for them was would be that they would provide an inspiration and in some way give us instruction to help us better relate. And unify the nation. They're taking the first step. They're teaming up with Portland-based Pendleton, an internationally known blanket maker, spreading the white buffalo's message of peace through the fur they shed once a year in the spring. I have given the fur to Pendleton to weave some of the white buffalo fur into these blankets. Making limited edition, one-of-a-kind peace blankets to raise money for the herd. To help bring all tribes, all nations together. Mending life's sacred loop. Oh, I think we can hope for uh, peace and abundance, uh, goodwill, health and happiness. And if we have those things, we got it all.